Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a quick look at Google. We're going to calculate their WAC. Going to have another video coming out this week uh, doing a DCF valuation for them, but um, thought it'd be fun to just kind of start with the WAC and then we'll use that when we build out our model. So first thing, um, we get it. We end up getting a WAC of about 8%, which I think makes sense. They're a pretty big company. They don't, they're not super volatile. Um, I mean, they have been having pretty good growth lately, but at a 1.6 trillion market cap, I wouldn't expect too much growth. Um, so just kind of returns in line with the market kind of makes sense to me. Um, but I'll walk you through quickly how we get the numbers. Market value of equity, 1.6 trillion, comes from Yahoo Finance. Market value of debt, this is just in their 10K. Um, so this, we open up their most recent 10K. And then on page 79 in here, or 77, um, they have the schedule. So right here, schedule. I excluded the the lease payments. I don't I don't calculate it as part of that. Um, so I've excluded that. But you can see they have four billion of notes issued from 2011 to 2016, and 10 billion of 2020 notes. And then they give you kind of a range of the interest rate. They actually tell us right here though that the weighted average coupon rate of 1.57 for the 2020 notes. So I built out a quick little debt schedule. Let me zoom in here so you can see this. Um, just the two different notes, the amount issued, interest rates. We know they tell us 1.57 is the weighted average here. And then for the other one, I just took the midpoint between these two and then calculated a weighted average, which is just the interest divided by the total amount based off these rates. So about 2% for their debt. And they don't have too much debt in comparison, right? 14 billion of debt on for a $1.6 trillion company isn't very much. Next, cost of equity. I'll show you how to calculate this. This is based off of CAPM. So treasury yield 2.3, I have the link here. Feel free to download the model and click on it. Just goes to the most recent treasury auctions and I use the 30 year rate. So 2.3% is the most recent. Expected return of the market. This is from an Investopedia article, 8%. It's kind of the historical return since there's been 500 companies in the S&P 500. And then we calculate the beta. So beta 1.01. .01 way we calculate that is we actually do, you take the closing price um, every month for the last five years, then calculate that return, monthly change. And to get this data, you can actually just get it from Yahoo Finance. You'd go historical data, five year, monthly, hit apply, and you can download it. And then you just put in the adjusted close here. And then same thing for SPY as that's the proxy for the S&P 500. From there, you'll calculate the variance of SPY and then you'll calculate the covariance of Google and SPY. From there, that'll get you the beta of 1.01. .01. And then with CAPM, um, you can follow the formula if you click here, but it gets you a cost of equity of 8%. So overall WAC, 8%. So, you know, I think that signals it's not high. It's about as risky as um, the broader stock market, in which, I mean, when the cost of equity is 8% and then you have a cost of debt of 2%, but it's just such a little percentage of your total market cap, it makes sense that... Um, investors in Google are expecting similar returns to that of the market. And I actually think if we look at, they have a chart in here, all companies do, of how they've performed compared to the S&P 500. And I mean, honestly, if you look at them, they've actually, they're the dark blue line here. And then the dark green is the S&P. They've basically just stayed parallel to the S&P 500. So kind of that same expected return. So um, like I said, this is the first video, It'll be another video um, doing a DCF and kind of going through their business model and looking at some of the growth drivers there. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below.